okay so let's take a look at how you can create a timesheet tracker in Airtable so we'll see we will start from scratch if you have see excel sheet or google sheet or any existing data you can upload it through these means you can also check out templates but we will start from scratch right so here you can see you have table where you have one field generated already then there are nodes assignees status we will get rid of these fields and start from scratch right so we have everything deleted now here this field we can't delete so we will edit this to see task as our main field right so every time new task is created it will add the rows here now next thing i want to add the customer field which is going to be a single line text because if we keep on adding new user then Airtable will get populated a lot and unless you are on pro plans or higher plans that would result in a lot of users as well so we will manually add customer to a single line text right then we have created the field next thing we will also add say team member so whenever we assign a task of a particular customer we will give it to a member within our team you can use user from your team in that case so if they are limited or not growing then this should work right so in this case however you should stick with single line text and here you can use team member so team member text create field right now the next thing i want to track when the task was created and when it was completed by that team member so if i have to choose for that i will choose date and time so let's take a look so created time and last modified time is also there so the thing is we can still use that option so i will continue to see if there are any finish time or something so we don't have that right now so ending time right so we don't have that right so we'll just stick with the date right and here include time format 24 hours use time zone related details if you want so we will choose europe so we have europe and then we have start time right then date format and time also then there is also end time right so we'll add date again use european include time 24 hours right so we can also use use same time zone so considering we are already choosing europe hopefully that should work so end time then create field right so at the end we will also take a look at total time right so this should be duration field right so duration you can use hours and minutes right so we have that format create field and we have our task customer team member then start time end time total time so we'll add one demo so task is fix the printer for customer say adam stone team member say vero sakis right then start time we can choose that today and our time and time we will give it say two hours right or one hour whichever applies your case so we can use one hour and see how many minutes three minutes right so zero three 
right so we have like one entry here now if i want to make this sort of database and i want to get form view what i can do is first thing we'll just rename this to time sheet tracker right so companies like Tanso, Oboso and others make use of something like this and in views if I choose form and choose personal view and then timesheet track right so if we create new view for this it should look something like this now here I can add insert work King time task right so we'll just keep it blank for now because that description will go longer than it's supposed to be right so we have task customer team member start time and time total time right then based on your type of account there are features that you, you can enable or disable right so if i try to view this form let's see how it looks Right, so it is timesheet tracker as you can see if you want you can add some description but I skip that so here's the task then the name of customer team member I want to assign uh, this should be handy if you are adding some uh, preloaded values to team members and notify them through email or notification so I didn't add that particular field because that would be user field and it would kind of populate a lot of members within that particular account right and then you have start time end time total time as well right so how are minutes so if you're paying your uh, workers based on particular number of hours and minutes you can use this right then basically when you submit this it should populate your grid view right so this is the grid view we have within collaborative views you can find also you can access that from here right and you will find your timesheet tracker gets updated every time you fill that form